or slide calipers. Slide calipers or vernier calipers. This is vernier calipers. Look here, this is the main scale and this is vernier scale. Main scale is attached to this jaw, this is lower jaw and this is the upper jaw. Vernier scale is attached to this lower jaw and also this is upper jaw. So this, this is vernier scale. Vernier scale can be moved like this. When these two jaws come in contact, zero on the main scale coincides with the zero on the vernier scale. If zero on the vernier scale does not coincide with the this main scale then we say there is an error this error is called zero error so this is used to measure length of an object more accurately look here consider an object in order to measure measure length of this object move this uh, vernier scale like this look at these two are lower jaws and these two are upper jaws of course this is main scale and this is vernier scale move it like this and place this one between these two lower jaws and move the vernier scale like this. Now we can measure length of this one. Look here, this is the division just behind zero on the vernier scale. So this is taken as main scale reading that is MSR, main scale reading. And here, so this length of this object is little more than this 2.1 centimeter. So this little more can be measured by using this coinciding uh, value. Look here, this is not coinciding, this is not coinciding, this one. That is 0, 1, 2, 3. Third division on the vernier scale coinciding with one of the division on the main scale. So this is the coinciding vernier scale division, CVD. By knowing main scale reading and CVD, we can find the length of this object by using the formula tr is equal to total reading is equal to msr main scale reading plus cvd coinciding vernier scale division into least uh, count okay tr is equal to msr that is 2.1 centimeter plus cvd it is 3 into least count is 0 0.01 centimeter here first multiply this 3 with this one we get uh, 0 0.03 centimeter now 2.1 centimeter plus 0 0.03 centimeter is equal to 2.13 centimeter this is how we can measure length of an object and uh, this is the use of these two lower jaws now let us know what is the use of these upper jaws this is the hollow cylinder in order to measure the diameter of this hollow cylinder, we can use these upper jaws. First, we have to insert these two jaws inside the cylinder like this and move the vernier scale like this. At this moves, your vernier scale is moved. This gap is equal to the distance between this edge and this edge. Now, we can measure the diameter of this uh, cylinder look here just uh, behind this zero this is the division this is taken as main scale reading look here this is 1 2 3 point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point 0.4 point 0.5 point 0.6 point 0.7 point 0.8 point 0.9 centimeter or 9 millimeter and here there is a very small gap extra length that can be measured by knowing the cvd coinciding well look here this is not coinciding this one is not this one is not of course this one the fourth division is coinciding with one of the divisions on the main scale so this is cvd and now the total reading is equal to msr plus cvd into lc so total reading is equal to msr it is 0.9 centimeter plus cvd it is for lc it is 0 0.01 centimeter multiply 4 with this one we get uh, 0 0.04 centimeter 0 0.9 centimeter plus 0 0.04 centimeter is equal to 0 0.94 centimeters so this is how we can use upper saws in order to measure internal diameter of a cylinder next this can also be used 
this uh, slide calipers can also be used to measure external diameter and of course thickness and also depth of a cylinder can be measured by using this slide calipers so this is about slide calipers